By the end of today's video, I will have learned all 23 flags of North America and all 12 flags of South America. This is part of a series I'm doing where I'm trying to learn all 197 flags of the world. So far in this series, I've successfully learned all 47 flags of Europe. And in the last video, I learned all 49 flags in Asia. I'm currently overlaying a speedrun of both just to prove that that information has stayed in my brain. All right, so in comparison to Asia, this should be kind of easy because you can see we've only got 12 in South America and then we've got slightly more in North America. We've got 23. So let's learn rules for South America first, get that one down, and then we'll move on to a slightly more challenging North America. North America, you kind of think there's only like three countries in North America, you know, Mexico, Canada, and the US. But there's actually all those tiny little Caribbean islands like Trinidad and Tobago, for example. So that's what's going to take the memorizing. But for now, South America. I reckon I know two of these, and that is Argentina and then Brazil. So everything else on here, I don't know. We're gonna have to come up with rules for them. Okay, I've Googled it. This is the flag of Uruguay. So the way I'm gonna remember this is Uruguay sounds like you're a guy and this is the guy. And I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna go, you're a guy. And he's gonna look at me and he's gonna go, yes, I am. Thanks, Jack. All right, there's the little fella. Uruguay, I can never spell this one as well. Uh, is it like that? Yeah, there we go. I have just noticed that Argentina has the same guy as Uruguay. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that one, but hopefully I'll remember the difference. Next flag is Colombia. Now for some reason I do just associate Colombia with the color yellow and because that's the main color on this flag I think that'll be all I need to remember it. So there he is. Colombia. Good. 4 of 12. Right, which country should we learn next? Let's do Chile. I've learned recently that apparently people from Chile like Chile to be pronounced Chile as opposed to Chile, so I'm gonna do my best to remember that. Ah, so this is the flag of Chile, which annoyingly is not how I would visualize it, but I guess we'll try and remember Chile as Chile place and cold colors are white and blue that you can see up here. Maybe that'll be enough. Okay, Chile, there we go. And the time is reset, so let's get the ones that we can remember. Colombia. Colombia. We already know Brazil and we already know Argentina and we have recently learnt Uruguay. Oh, I can never spell it. Uruguay. Yes, there we go. Okay, the way I'm gonna remember Paraguay flag is this looks like a parachute, you know, parachute, Paraguay. So from like a bird's eye view, that looks like an open parachute. Do you think that's enough? Oh God, I think that's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paraguay, excellent. Oh, Bolivia flag's quite good. I'm gonna sound stupid here, I accept it. For some reason, for many years, I thought Bolivia was in Africa. I'm aware that's embarrassing. I I think maybe I was getting mixed up with Botswana. But I noticed these are quite African-y looking colors. There's what looks like a llama in the middle. We could pretend that's a bull. Bolivia, not a bull. A llama. <laughs> Look, I'm aware these learning techniques are really weird and stupid, but it does generally keep stuff in your brain. Oh god, I can't see the llama from this distance. Well, no problem. We'll see how we get on. Bolivia. Uh, <laughs> ah, right, okay. Peru. You see this shape here? That's kind of the shape of a U. Edit a Kai, put a U over the top. Peru. See, it sounds okay here when there's only 12 flags to choose from, but when you put all 197 together, a lot of them are very, very similar qualities, and that's where my brain's gonna struggle. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ecuador flag. Okay, well, remember, it's the similar colors to the Colombian flag, but there's a door to some nice scenery. That'll stay in my brain, maybe. Where's the door to nice scenery? There it is. Ecuador. Oh, I can't spell. Ecuador. There we go. Venezuela flag. Right, once again, we have the same three background colors. These stars, if turned upside down and made more pointy, they'd be the shape of a V. Is that gonna be enough? Venezuela. Oh, man. I've forgotten how to spell all of these. When I learnt all the countries, I eventually knew how to spell everything, but I've not been practicing that at all. Venez... Uella. Yeah, there we go. Right, so this is the Guyana flag. Right, what we'll do is we'll say that this red thing, that's Guy, and this yellow thing, that's Anna. I don't quite know what Guy and Anna are up to, but it's none of my business. Guyana. Excellent. And then all we have left is Suriname now. Go oh. God, it's that star that appears on, like, the Vietnam flag and, like, the Myanmar flag. Why do you need another star, Suriname? Come on. I'm not looking forward to all the continents being mixed into one. Right, okay. Suriname has a star in the middle with a red background. Vietnam, which also ends with Nam, is a red background with a yellow star in the middle. Suriname, Vietnam. I think that'll do me nicely. Uh, there we go. That's them all. Right, let's actually replay. We've got three minutes. Let's see if we can actually do it. Let's see what's gone in. Ecuador. Uh, that is Argentina. I knew that one already. Already. That is Colombia. Yes, yes. That's Guyana. Guyana, what are they up to? Cheeky little fellas. Uh, we've got Suriname. We have... It's too small to remember. No, it's the parachute one. Paraguay. Paraguay. 
Why? Yes. Something to do with a U shape, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. But I can't remember that one. I'll come back to it. Brazil. Uh, that one is... Oh, they're too small. They're too bloody small to see the things I'm trying to remember. We'll come back to it. That one is Venezuela. Venezuela. Yes, there we go. And then we've got... That's Uruguay. Uruguay. Yes, Uruguay. Can't spell it. Uruguay. There we go. Oh, no. What is that one? That is... The one that I didn't want it to be. I didn't think it was a very interesting flag. Oh, no, it's the cold one. The cold colours, which is Chile. Chile. Right, so we're stuck on these three that are all very, very similar, basically. So that's where we've gotten slipped up. That's Bolivia. Bolivia. It's our last one. So is it just Peru? It was Peru. I can't remember why I thought that was Peru. Let me try very quickly one last time. Right, we have got Suriname. Yep. Then we've got... Bolivia. Then we've got Venezuela. Yes. Then we've got not Colombia. Ecuador. Ecuador. And then Colombia. Um, Argentina. Guyana. That's the one that's easiest to remember. Paraguay. Uh, Uruguay. The cold one. Chile. And it's not Peru. It is Peru. And then we've got Brazil. Cool, we've done them. Peru, I need to think of a new rule or something because it's just not staying in my head. But that's not bad. I'll keep practicing those off camera and I should have it in no time by the next video. But for now, we need to do North America. Here we go, North America. This is going to take a little bit longer, but I do know a few more of these off the bat. So, for example, we have Jamaica. Excellent. And then we also have USA and Canada. <laughs> I hate how similar some flags are. What's going on with this fella and this fella over here? Not a fan. This one, I do know because I didn't know it in the previous video. That is Trinidad and Tobago. Excellent. And then we haven't done Mexico yet, have we? Where there it is, Mexico. Right, that's 5 of 23. I don't think I know any of this unless I'm being stupid. So what we've got left are all the kind of the little fellas. Okay, Antigua and Barbuda. That's a really fancy, nice looking flag. I like this one because it's, you know, it's non-traditional. That looks good. You know what? I think I might just be able to remember that because I like the flag so much. Antigua and Barbuda. There we go. This one is the Bahamas. If you were to put a B there, put a B there at a Kai, capital B, you'll see that this point is where the middle of the B is. B for Bahamas. And then the blue is the pretty Bahama ocean. I imagine the ocean in the Bahamas is that kind of colour. Right, flag of Barbados is nothing like what I would expect it to be. You know that horrendous word, you know, bay, that people said like five years ago? We imagine that we put bay up here in the middle of Barbados and they're like on a spike and they're uncomfortable. I'm trying to think of things that'll stay in my brain, okay? Whoa, the Belize flag is a bit of a mad one. There is a lot of detail in this one. All right, well, imagine that this person over here, he's called B, and then this fellow over here with the big club, he's called Liz. That should hopefully stick in my brain. God, they are so difficult to see on Sparkle. Uh, Belize, there's Belize. This one is Cuba, which I was not expecting. I do associate the color red with Cuba, though. So we'll say Cuba, more like Q star, because there's a star on it, and the red triangle thing, and then it's Central American because of the blue. Cuba star. Hopefully there's no other flags with stars on. Costa Rica looks scarily like the Thailand flag. How similar are they? Oh, brilliant. So they're basically the same colors, but just inverted. That is ridiculous. Wait, on Sparkle, there's a thing in it. That's interesting. Right, it looks so much like the North Korean flag as well. Oh, this is getting so confusing. Okay, well, we'll remember this one because we'll be like, I would much rather be in Costa Rica than North Korea and then at that point I just know the flag and everything's fantastic. Oh the Dominican flag has got a parrot on it! Becky used to have a cockerel that was called Dom and you know cockerel and parrots they're both birds so we will name this parrot Dom for Dominica. There he is Dominica excellent but then we also have the Dominican Republic flag which is obviously gonna confuse me. Dominican <laughs> those four squares okay is that gonna be enough? We've got the El Salvador flag which helpfully it does actually say El Salvador on it. However, on Sparkle, that is impossible to see. But, you know, maybe I'll remember that. There's text around it and it literally says El Salvador. If I look for one that has a small bit of text on, that might help me out. The Granada flag is very grand. And I think that's how we will remember that one. Grand Granada flag. Great. 
stuff. <laughs> the Guatemala flag, on the other hand, it's got guns on it. So we will remember this one because we'll be like, don't eat my guatemole or I'll shoot you. That's how we remember the Guatemala flag. The Haiti flag, whatever's going on in the middle, it looks kind of angry, like it hates stuff. And then it's all this red down here. The red is the colour of hate for Haiti. Good. Honduras flag is uh, another bit of a naff one. But I'll tell you what, you could put a H over the top of these stars. Kai, put a big stretched H over the top of these stars. H for Honduras. Oh, bloody hell, it actually says Nicaragua on the Nicaragua flag. But once again, I won't actually be able to read that. I'm definitely going to get that mixed up with El Salvador. Nicaragua has lots of A's in it. And this triangle shape, you could put a big A there. Kai, put an A right there. <laughs> Nicaragua, look at all them A's. Panama, pancakes. Flip a pancake in a pan. It's red on one side, it's blue on the other. You flip it and it's Panama. Sure, okay. Are we nearly done yet? This is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> St. Kitts and Nevis flag, we will say that's Kitts and that's Nevis. Sure, and Nevis is the taller one because of Ben Nevis, which is a tall mountain in Scotland. Oh, I quite like the St. Lucia flag. That was something pretty about that. Right, so when I accidentally forgot to put the word flag when typing into Google Images, it brought up this very pretty mountain, which is basically the same shape as the triangle on the flag, which potentially is on purpose. So we might be able to remember that St. Lucia is just a Glorious, beautiful, tropical place with a big pointy mountain island thing and then lots of sea around it. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Right, well, this is St. Vincent and these are his two Grenadines. Go on, <laughs> yes. There we go, we did it, we did it. So that is them all. Now let's see how many of my rules actually stay in my brain. All right, easy, Trinidad. And Tobago, that one I already knew. Honduras, you see the H in the, in the stars. That is St. Kitts and Nevis. There we go. The man there and the man there. Who are they? Who are the two men? Liz. Liz. Beliz. <laughs> That one's not ringing a bell in my brain at all. I have no idea. I've never seen that flag ever in my life. We'll skip it for now. That one on the hand is St. Lucia. Oh, it's the angry one. Haiti. Um, Antigua. Barbuda. I just like the flag. That's El Salvador, I think. I think that's the one with the text. El Salvador. It is. USA. Panama. Yes, Panama. Dominican. Dominican Republic. Nice. Is it Cuba? It was Cuba. Yes. Canada. Jamaica. The Dom Dominica. Dominica. Oh, it's the guns one. Don't eat me Guatemala or I'll shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Guatemala. I would much rather be in Costa Rica than <laughs> North Korea. That is, it's St. Vincent and it's bloody Grenadines. I can't believe it. St. Vincent. <laughs> it's another one where it's written and it's lots of A's. What's got lots of Nicaragua? Nicaragua. And then we've got, oh, that's a grand looking flag, Grenada. And then Barbados. Barbados. Beardos. Mexico. Oh, it's the only one we don't know. It's a B. There is a B. Whatever this is begins with B. So it must be the Bahamas. Bahamas. <laughs> okay, let me try that one last time because I think I might have been onto something there. I'm going to do it again, but we'll just speed it up, okay? Yeah, I think I might have them down, actually. I think with practice, I can easily do them. Well, I will keep practicing both them and uh, South America, because I think I actually am worse at South America. For some reason, my rules just didn't stick as well. I guess the flags are just a bit less varied, maybe. But I will keep practicing, and then the only continents that we will still need to learn are Africa and Oceania. Not really looking forward to Africa at all. Oceania should be all right, though. Thank you for watching. We are going to learn all 197 flags of the world, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss it. All right. I'll see you later.